You guys liked it, so upon request, I have for you the evolution of Stormtrooper action figures. Here I'll be showing you, from start to finish, the various Stormtrooper action figures they've sold throughout the years. Now, this is actually the most complete list I have for you. You may be thinking that's kind of insane, but the thing is, there have been many variations of the Stormtrooper, and I have a fair amount of them here, and I have very representative samples from each toy line. I think I only have a couple that are from the same toy line in this. And when it comes to the Stormtrooper, he's been kind of slighted a lot. He had no presence in the Saga collection whatsoever, only one presence in the 30th Anniversary collection, no presence in the Power of the Jedi collection. As you can see, he's kind of, um, he's kind of been slighted a bit. And I want to show you the various Stormtrooper figures they have sold throughout the years. And it really seems like Stormtroopers are not as... They've gone through uh, more of an evolution than Clone Troopers, but I don't think they've had nearly as many different action figures as normal Clone Troopers. So let's start off with number one, and of course that will be... Good old Grandpapa. Yeah, good old Grandpapa here. Does not want to get in focus. There we go. Yeah, good old Grandpapa. Uh, it's... Oh, are you serious? Oh, you're fighting me. You're fighting me now. Yeah, good old Grandpapa. He's had a, a very, very strong presence among the retro toy collecting community. This is actually one of the easier to find vintage figures. I personally have three of it. Uh, this is actually the nicest condition one I have. Um, except for the hands, though. Hands are kind of worn, but other than that, I mean, this thing's just kind of so retro, and it was actually my very first vintage figure I got. This is actually the one I got first. As you can see, it's not nearly in as good of shape. But yeah, it's very cool to have, and I still feel like it looks nice. It's one of the few vintage figures I feel like still looks nice. The helmet's very large, and because of that, he has no head articulation whatsoever. But it still looks really nice. They got the black where they needed to get the black, right there on the hips, the knees, the elbows, and two separate places, the hands. And the helmet itself is actually pretty nicely painted. Overall, I think this is a really huge success of a figure. And actually is one of my favorites on this list, but it's not nearly, it's not close to number one. Mostly because it's still very, very old. I mean, what is it? It's, it's approaching like, what, 40 years old now? So that is the first Stormtrooper figure made. And now what was the second? This guy. This guy. This, this guy, this guy, the Power of the Force 2 Stormtrooper, and that was actually not exaggerated whatsoever, this guy is a pain to stand up. Actually, because I need to get it up to show it to you, I'm just going to gently blow breath at it. <sighs> so, um, reason why it's hard to stand up is because they put him in a walking position because why not? Also, his legs have gotten very loose over time. I did not spend a dime on this figure. I got it completely free in a huge box of free Star Wars stuff I won many, many moons ago. Looking at the figure itself, though... Oh, jeez. Looking at the figure itself, though, it's it's got a lot of nice details. Sort of. It's very buff, very muscular, just like our uh, other Power of the Force 2 friends. It's very just... I don't know. Um, it's not bad by any means. This helmet sculpt is actually very nostalgic to me, considering as a kid I did have the Power of the Force 2 Luke Skywalker and Stormtrooper disguise, as well as the Power of the Force 2 Saiyan Trooper. So it's a pretty nostalgic head sculpt for me, but it's just... it's just so crap. <laughs> if there's one figure you just kind of want to pass on in this list, it's this guy and the uh, the, the last one. This I consider to be the first substantially articulated Star Wars action figure that is representative of a Stormtrooper. It's not super posable, um, but he actually does have something that no other Stormtrooper figure has yet to have. That is a ball-hinged neck. Yes, that's right, not a ball joint, a ball-hinged neck. And it's pretty posable. I mean, he can look up a fair amount, and he can, can't really look down. He's got ball-hinged shoulders. Just swivel elbows, no bends. No swivels at the wrist, I believe. Swivel waist, swivel hips, and hinged knees. So it's pretty poseable. Um, his pouch, for some reason, cannot hold a gun. It's just a pouch there. And I don't have a gun to actually give to this guy because I have a lot of this figure. I have, I have a lot of it because I got it very cheap 
Um, and if you don't believe me here, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you something. I've got a lot of the same figure, and I don't know why. They were all cheap, that's why. They were all just very cheap. But yeah, it's a pretty good figure, I'd have to say. It's it's a very nice addition to the evolution. It's fairly articulated. It looks nice in, like, lined-up poses, and even though they're kind of looking crappy right now in the little troop transport, I mean... As you can see, the fa the face paint kind of varies throughout each figure. Some of them look good, some of them look kind of meh. It's actually, I still consider it to be one of the better-looking Hasbro Stormtrooper helmets. Actually, looking at it now, I would say it's probably my favorite. Some of them, however, do look kind of funny. Uh, that one looks real good. The one that looks kind of funny is actually that one right there. That's actually one of the worst-looking ones. And this guy looks kind of funny. I don't know something about him. It's like they kind of got it misaligned. But anyway, that is the Power of the Force 2. Yeah, that is actually still a Power of the Force 2 figure. I kind of forgot to mention. Uh, the ComTech Stormtrooper. And the reason why it's ComTech is because it came with that little chip that you put into that machine. And it says really bad phrases from the movie. So, who's next? Well, because my finger's right here, I'm not going to do the jump cut. Oh my god. This guy, which... Uh, it's technically not the original Vintage Original Trilogy Collection Stormtrooper. But it is essentially the same thing. Um, this is a past Saga Legends re-release of it. And this, personally, is my favorite Stormtrooper figure. Where we've got plenty more to go, and we've already reached my favorite. I love the articulation on it. It's just superb. Um, besides not having any outward at the legs, which, ooh, it's kind of going a little too far out for not actually supposed to be going out. It's, it's just got a lot of nice articulation, I mean... If you're familiar with modern Hasbro Star Wars figures, this is no surprise to you how nice this is. And if you don't own the Saga Legends or Vintage Original Trilogy Collection Stormtrooper, then you're just missing out, buddy. You're just missing out. You're really, really, really missing out. That's not usually supposed to happen. It's just a great figure. It's a great addition to the collection, and I think you should get it. Me, personally, I actually got uh, the Saga Legends versions at a discount store for five dollars each so that's hey that's pretty good uh then the next one this is actually kind of a downgrade it's pretty much this beautiful it's pretty much the same figure as the vintage original trilogy collection one besides for some reason i think it's got a different head sculpt which this is actually still a pretty good helmet uh, I, I do like that helmet as you can see it uses a sand trooper mold and the Sand Trooper mold, for some reason, has no body articulation, so... Kind of a downgrade, but it's still a very good figure, and it does still complement the Saga Legends slash Vintage Original Trilogy Collection one very well. Uh, this came in the, uh, like, Attack on Tantai Force set, like a battle pack that came with two Rebel Fleet Troopers, Darth Vader, and two of these guys. Um, I'd say it's a set worth tracking down if you don't really have any Rebel Fleet Troopers yet. It's a very nice battle pack, and I personally very much like it. So that is the Tantai IV Stormtrooper. Then what's next? This guy. Um, yeah, I kind of got problems with the 30th Anniversary Collection Stormtrooper. Uh, once again, it uses many of the same body parts as the VOTC Stormtrooper. It even has the same nice waist articulation. But as you can see, for some reason, both of mine, I have two of this, are just really yellowed. I should probably try to do something about that. Um, I don't know why. Uh, these were like my childhood Stormtrooper figures, so... I mean, I did play with these, but it's just... It doesn't... I don't really like that they're all that yellowed. And also, they come with removable helmets, and for some reason they painted the skin tone on. So if you actually want to remove the helmet, he ends up getting a, uh, a black nose. Ugh... Hey, don't g g get your nose out of other people's butts. And because it's black, it must have been Darth Vader's butt, if you know what I'm saying. Hey, that's it's it's a decent figure, though. They actually did upgrade it, and I do believe they have improved it with the next release, which is right back there. I just need to get him standing back up. Jump cut! Now, this is a Stormtrooper figure I like. This is kind of an upgrade to the 30th Anniversary Collection one. As you can see, they added more detail to the helmet. They gave him outward at the hips, which is, a hey, that's pretty good. And he still has a removable helmet, but I've been more careful not to remove this one as much. So here you can see the head without the black nose. I hate this head sculpt, by the way. It's so awful. I think it's supposed to be like a 
Jango Fett clone, but it just looks so bad. So I always just kind of keep that on there. Yeah, um, not really much else to say on this one. Uh, this is the second release of the 30th anniversary, not 30th anniversary, of the Vintage Collection Stormtrooper because the first release was very, it was pretty much just, was pretty much just this figure again, but with the added hip articulation. Um, I do have one of those, and it's pretty much the exact same thing because it's also yellowed, which I don't know why. I didn't really play with that one. But whatever. I do like this figure, and it's it's not certainly not my favorite, but it's it's pretty good. And the next one is the Black Series one. It's pretty much once again, similar to this guy, it's the Vintage Collection Sand Trooper, just Without the Sand Troopers stuff. That's all it is. This is this figure. Boom, there you go. Um, it's kind of lazy, kind of cheap that they just did that. What's also kind of lazy and cheap is how my camera doesn't want to focus. There we go. Anything that's just pure white, my camera absolutely hates. As you can see, it still has the back peg there. That's a crazy amount of head articulation, though. I mean, dang. That's just because, like, it's got a huge... I mean, it's a huge ball joint. Look at that. That's bigger than six-inch figure ball joints. That is huge. I'm just getting that back on there. So this is pretty much the last pretty good figure we're going to look at, because the evolution, just like a Darth Vader, brings us to... Mm, good job, Hasbro. Good job. You done did good. Let's see. Um, Almost 40 years. 40 years difference, and what have you done? You've added a swivel at the head. Good job, Hasbro. You done did good. Um, the plastic on this is very nice and solid. Um, it feels sturdy and durable. This is kind of, uh, kind of soft. It's kind of, um, it's not bad feeling, but it certainly does not feel of quality. And, uh, just kind of, meh. And the gun, too, is also just very cheap looking compared to all the others, and... He's got no holster, and pretty much any paint they could skip out on, they did. Um, it's, it's, it's not bad. I'm going to say it. It's not bad. It's decent at best. It's it, it's serviceable. Uh, I remember uh, when the Clone Wars was still going, and there were rumors of a, uh Imperial-era-styled cartoon, just like the Clone Wars, what we have now, Rebels. And I was thinking... Wouldn't it be great to have Stormtrooper figures that are the same quality as the awesome Clone Trooper figures? That would be fantastic. And I actually was, like, TIE Fighter pilots are one of my favorite things in the world. And I was just imagining army building, like, these awesome animated looking TIE Fighter pilot figures. And I have the Rebels TIE Fighter pilot, and it does not live up to my vision. Uh, it's just, it kind of goes back to just how Hasbro's just... This anymore costs you like eight bucks. Back in the day, back in the day, this was eight bucks. This was eight bucks. It's just kind of sad how the toy market's just really gone up in price so much. And I'm not really sure what the excuse is anymore because I understand, like in 2008, like. Especially, like, after 2010 when prices started going up because the whole oil crisis. Um, but we've kind of gotten rid of that now. I mean, look at gas prices. They're under $2. <sighs> I'm just going to finish this video here. So, guys, that's pretty much it. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, share my Facebook page if you have a chance. Have a good day, guys, and I hope you enjoyed looking at the evolution of the... Asbro Star Wars Stormtrooper figure. Kind of sad at the end of there. I'm going to get a tissue and I'm going to cry. That's pretty much it, guys. Have a good day. May the Force be with you. Bye!